Hi there, my name is Georg Bach. I work for Hewlett Packard Enterprise and uh, next January actually there will be my 30th anniversary working for the company. I'm also a co-founder of the it 4 it standard um, and hence the uh, it 4 it board asked me to share my thoughts and my passion, my experience um, with um, the it 4 it standard and working on it. As a co-founder, um, I had the pleasure five years ago to, uh, to give this idea of the value chain the birth and then nurse it through childhood uh, to the first development of the reference architecture before we actually turn it over to the open group about two years ago for an official launch. Now when talking about IT for IT, um, typically this uh, blue box iconized reference architecture model comes to, comes to mind, um, but this is very much focused on the, on the what and how to questions. Uh, that are very important um, to get efficiency into IT. Uh, I'm personally a little bit more focused and, and passionate about the why questions. And that's why I would like to talk a little bit more from the strategic side, a little bit more demystify the, the so-called digital transformation. Uh, that is a big hype right now and everybody is talking about it. And uh, I think it for it has quite a bit to say about that particular topic and enable actually um, IT for um, the digital transformation. Um, when we look back the last 20 years, IT typically operated under a plan, build, run uh, paradigm uh, where you think about the services, you build them out, you throw it over the fence and you run it for the business. That works well for technology type services. So you build up new technologies and um, you deliver the technology to the service, uh, to, to the business rather than the service to the business and when you think about service life cycle already um, you start thinking whether this paradigm still works um, and now when we think about the digital transformation it's it's going even further because you have much more flexibility much more um, autonomous uh, federation of things in the enterprise that need to talk with each other so it, the, the management paradigm becomes even more complex and, and more difficult uh, to be done. When we think about um, the why, uh, we think about how do we need to change the way IT needs to operate in such an environment. And two recent trends come to mind that have a lot to do with the change way. The one is how to build software as a key component of a service, uh, aka DevOps Agile. And the other one is how to actually consume services in such an environment. Um, AKA cloud, um, and, and now we need to think about how does IT for IT actually relate to those topics? And it does very much. Number one, um, it actually fixes the plan, build, run paradigm. It includes a very new, a very important phase, we call the deliver phase between uh, build and run, the request to fulfill. And there's nothing else in the market that is alike and, and, uh, and fixes that, um, that crossing between um, the vertical uh, development to operations, so it's very much related to DevOps, but also the, the, the vertical um, consuming and uh, delivery side of the cloud. So R2F is a big innovation that IT for IT brought to the market and directly relates to those issues. So the second um, piece is the, uh, the value chain thought as such and the concepts that are behind that, particularly um, it implicitly tells you how you need to change your way of collaborating on an, in an end-to-end -end fashion across the organization. Admittedly, um, the operating model um, content is not explicitly articulated yet in the IT for IT standards, so there's room uh, to do more. And uh, I would very much, um, exp uh, I would very much appreciate um, you bring your experience, join the group. Uh, bring your passion and uh, help us uh, move the standard forward uh, into the new world. Thanks for listening.